fly in the sky I can go twice as high Take a look, it's in a book A reading rainbow The hot, sandy desert of Australia can get up to 120 degrees in temperature. Just try to imagine living there. Good day, mate. My name is Marion Curley, and I most definitely recommend the book Stolen by Lucy Christopher. It is a suspenseful adult literature that will surely have you hooked. Gemma is a 17-year-old girl who's on her way to Vietnam for vacation with her family. She meets Ty, an older, mysterious guy at the coffee shop in the airport. He buys her a coffee, drugs it, and then takes her away. He takes her to a small house in the middle of the desert in Australia. She is scared of him, because to her, he kidnapped her. But to Ty, he saved Gemma from her life back home. Ty thought that what he did was good, and that Gemma needs to love the land for what it's worth. At one part... Ty paints the whole house with different colors used from the plants. He uses texture, so when the sun shined on the paintings, they gleamed. Ty and Gemma captured a camel because they needed it for transportation. T Gemma decided to name the camel Stolen because it was stolen, just like her. Towards the end, Gemma says, You took me away from everything, my life. You took me to the sand and the heat, the dirt and the isolation, and you expected me to love you. And that's the hard part, because I did, or at least something out there. Something out there changed her, made her look at life differently. My favorite part is when Gemma says, You did steal me, but you saved my life too. And somewhere in the middle, you show me a place so different and beautiful, I can never get it out of my mind. You're stuck in my brain like my blood vessels because it shows that she really did learn to love the place. Something really interesting about the book is that the book is set as a letter from Gemma to Ty. I would recommend this book for anyone from the ages of 13 to 16 years old who enjoy a suspenseful story that include a love story with a twist. You can find this book at the Grafton High School Library, the local library, or any bookstore like Barnes Noble.